subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos by Kalkine. Today we're exploring how are Chobani boosting local manufacturing in Australia. I'm Sage for Kalkine Media. Founded by CEO Hamdi Yulakaya in 2005 on the belief that people have great taste, Chobani is Australia's premier yogurt brand. Chobani has plans to expand its Victorian production infrastructure. Based in Dandenong, South Melbourne, the new site covers 21,000 square metres of office space, storage as well as production facilities. Lynn Radford, Chibani's Managing Director, says that Australia is an ideal location. It's a gold mine of ingredients, especially high quality milk, she says in her own words. And Chibani launched in Australia back in 2011 and covers the brands Chibani and Gippsland Dairy Yogurt. Chibani has found a way to source the majority of its packaging and raw materials from Australian businesses. At first, they were having to import finished Chobani products from the USA. Radford stated that Austrade has been a great help for us in this space, helping us source local oat suppliers, in her own words. And Chobani is poised for an IPO planning to go public with a listing on NASDAQ that could be worth $100 million by the end of 2021. It was reported by Investopedia.com. While Sydney train staff have been striking due to overseas production of new train carriages, they are concerned for the safety and would prefer locally manufactured trains for Australians. With the last train carriages being made in Australia for over 20 years ago, they are still carriages created back in 1981 functioning on Sydney Metro lines. Local manufacturing in Australia peaked during the 1960s and has been declining since the 1980s, being at its lowest in decades, sitting at about 8% at present, according to data from the Australian Bureau of Statistics. Many industries are concerned about the costs involved with offshore manufacturing, especially at a time of supply chain crunch and shipping container shortages. Chibani's managing director, Lynn Radford, continued, Manufacturing is vital to the Australian economy and we are committed to not only growing our own business operations but also strengthening the manufacturing industry. They're steadily accelerating their growth into the plant-based milk market and feel confident in choosing Australia as their headquarters as Australia is renowned for their high-quality milling oats production. Chibani told CNBC that its revenue increased 5.2% to reach $1.4 billion from 2019 to 2020. However, its growth strategy and state-of-the-art facility being constructed in Dandenong South, Melbourne, has created a net loss for the Greek yogurt company, seeing it reach $58.7 million more than tripling due to investing back into the business. And Chobani puts its values at the forefront of its growth strategy and will continue to be a market leader with investing into innovations supporting many philanthropic projects such as Food Bank and The Breakfast Club at Dandenong South Primary School. Chobani wants local supply chains to remain a key part of its growth strategy moving into the new year and if you like this information, please like, share and comment on the video below. Subscribe to the channel and if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of the latest videos from Kalkine. But for more information and regular updates, it doesn't stop there. There is a website. Please check it out. It's kalkinemedia.com and this is Sage for Kalkine Media.